hypertensive crisis causes and prevention hypertension is a medical term for high blood pressure hypertensive crisis occurs when a person's blood pressure surges to an unusually high level this condition can cause damage to blood vessels and major organs this video looks at some causes of hypertensive crisis and some treatment options available it also outlines some life lifestyle factors that may help lower a person's blood pressure and reduce their risk of experiencing hypertensive crisis background on blood pressure healthcare providers assess blood pressure using a blood pressure monitor or sig sigmo manometer this tool produces a reading based on two types of blood pressure systolic and diastolic systolic pressure refers to the pressure inside blood vessels as the heart forces blood out to the rest of the organs diastolic pressure refers to the pressure inside blood vessels as the heart rests between beats blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury a sphygmo manometer displays the systolic pressure reading above the diastolic pressure reading if a person has a normal blood pressure for example the monitor will display a systolic pressure of less than 120 millimeters of mercury over a diastolic pressure of less than 80 millimeters of mercury what is hypertension hypertension occurs when a person's blood pressure exceeds normal values there are two stages of hypertension stage 1 and stage 2 stage 1 hypertension will produce a reading of 130 to 139 mm of mercury over 80 to 89 mm of mercury stage 2 hypertension which is a more severe form will produce a reading of 140 mm of mercury or higher over 90 mm of mercury or higher according to the centers for disease control and prevention around 45% of adults in the united states have hypertension they also estimate that only 1 in 4 adults have their hypertension under control what is hypertensive crisis uncontrolled hypertension can lead to a sudden and severe increase in blood pressure this increase is known as hypertensive crisis a person who is experiencing hypertensive crisis may have a systolic pressure reading of 180 mm of mercury or higher and a diastolic pressure reading of 120 mm of mercury or higher There are two types of hypertensive crisis hypertensive urgency and hypertensive emergency hypertensive urgency occurs when a person has the readings above but no associated symptoms hypertensive emergency occurs when a person has the readings above as well as the associated symptoms around 1 to 2% of adults with hypertension will experience hypertensive crisis some people will experience symptoms while others will not hypertensive crisis can damage blood vessels and major organs in 2018 alone nearly half a million deaths in the united states had hypertension as a primary or contributing cause causes The American Heart Association note that the following lifestyle and medical factors may increase the likelihood of hypertension: having overweight or obesity, eating an unhealthful diet that is high in salt, not getting very much physical activity, smoking, having a history of cardiovascular disease, having an underlying health condition such as diabetes or kidney disease. The following factors are commonly associated with hypertensive crisis: not taking or forgetting to take prescribed blood pressure medications, taking medications that interact with each other in a way that increases blood pressure, 
using illegal drugs such as cocaine or amphetamines, having a life-threatening cardiovascular condition such as a stroke or heart attack, experiencing organ failure such as heart or kidney failure. Symptoms Some people experiencing hypertensive crisis may have symptoms while others may not have any symptoms at all. People who are able to check their own blood pressure may see a reading of 180 mm of mercury by 120 mm of mercury or greater. If no other symptoms are present, the American Heart Association recommend waiting 5 minutes and taking another reading. If the reading is still high, the person should contact their healthcare provider for further advice. If their blood pressure is high and the person is also experiencing one or more of the following symptoms, then someone should call for emergency serv medical services. Severe headache or migraine, dizziness, confusion, severe anxiety, nausea or vomiting, chest pain, changes in vision, shortness of breath, nose bleed, fits or seizures. Treatment The first line treatment for hypertensive crisis will typically be intravenous antihypertensive medications to lower the person's blood pressure. Healthcare providers usually aim to reduce blood pressure by no more than 25%. In the first hour, as rapid decreases in blood pressure can cause other problems. Once a person's blood pressure is under control, the healthcare provider will usually switch to using oral antihypertensive medications. The medications a healthcare provider uses to low, lower blood pressure may differ according to several factors, including whether or not the person is pregnant, whether or not the person has an underlying health condition, whether or not hypertensive crisis occurred due to the use of illegal drugs. Prevention the most important thing that a person with hypertension can do to prevent hypertensive crisis is to take their blood pressure medications exactly as prescribed. A 2015 study found that people who often did not take their blood pressure medications are more likely to be hospitalized for heart problems. Some lifestyle changes that people can make to help lower their blood pressure and reduce the risk of experiencing hypertensive crisis or eat a healthful diet. Cut down on alcohol. Keep physically active. Avoid smoking. Get enough sleep. 